All right, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy. <coughs> Coming back at you with more Bloodborne. I think this is the final episode that we're going to have. I looked it up. I did finish the uh, all the DLC bosses, the five ones that we actually beat. We beat Ludwig. We beat the Living Failures, Lady Maria, Lawrence, and Orphan of Koss. So we were able to do that. It was really good. Honestly, better than the original game, like the everything so far in this game. I mean, I haven't finished the main game itself. Uh, it could, it could, you know, my, my thoughts on it could change with these last uh, bosses that I have to actually fight in here. But um, from what I know, obviously, Garman is the, is the last boss that you have to do. But I know they say before that, you know, we have these umbilical cords that we should use once we've actually used them we maybe fight something different i'm not 100 percent sure how it works uh i will have to see what it actually shows um i don't know if we fight garman after it or if this is just like the, a different boss ending and like maybe like a true ending or something so let's just go ahead and uh see what is going on here but really quickly guys if you have enjoyed the series drop a like on it for the finale the entire thing thank you to everyone who's come along during the ride you guys have seemed to really enjoy it i really do appreciate it it's been very very fun so far i love from soft games honestly like dark souls 3 is probably in my top like three or five games of all time and you know D ds1 is a really big one for me as well so i i really have enjoyed this one uh to to the to the heavens right it's been a really good experience and i'm glad you guys could come along for the ride all right i used the third all right i used the second third okay and the last one let us what does that do huh well nothing happened i didn't get take it anywhere maybe it was just that i had to use it before this last boss and we'll go, we'll go ahead and see um we are making our way over here which by the way this might be one of the, the nicest like in terms of like the boss settings this might be the nicest boss setting that's actually been put into the game i really really like how this looks so let's go ahead and uh oh there he is he's man oh it's the is this our guy from the beginning this is german oh what's up boss How's it living? Been a while since I've seen you, huh? Right? Well, uh, Garman said that he would kill me and I'd wake up under the sun, which kind of sounds like a pretty chill offer. I'm not even going to lie, but I feel if that happens, then I actually don't get to fight him or something. So I'm just going to refuse it. So I, uh, I apologize, my man. Oh, was that bad? Wait, why is he laughing at me, dude? Now you're telling me this guy confined to a wheelchair for uh, essentially a long part of his life. He's just going to be able to move freely, dude. I just simply don't buy it. I don't buy it. Ho, ho, ho. What's up, Garman? Oh, uh, ouch, Garman. D I don't know if he... Does he stagger? He kind of does. Oh, my God. He's fast as fuck. Old, dude, he's old as shit. But yet he's this fast. Dude, I wonder if I can get him with a... <gasps> no, I did it. No, I'm so upset. Let's see if I can get him with another one. Give me it, give me it. Yep, Garman, more like fucking dumbass. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, block this, bud. I'm blasting him. Oh, so you think because you got the glizzy on you. Let me get out of the way from that. Let's see if he tries to attack me again. I want... Oh my god, that was a clean fucking parry. Get blasted, you absolute maroon. A weapon at risk? That's not good, then. That's not good. Oh, damn it. What is this? What is he doing? What is he doing? Garman? Garman? He's on fire. Fire Gar... Okay, that was clean. I'm... Right after that roll, dude. I get that. Oh, no. If he rolls into me again, and I can just do the same timing. Roll into me again. Roll into me again, boss. Oh, yeah, get blasted. Garman's getting absolutely molly whopped. No, 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 I rolled into him. That's upsetting, that's upsetting. Give me this, give me this, give me this. Get blasted, Garman. Get absolutely dismantled. First try, actually. It was actually my first try. Well, maybe I should have died to him to, to be able to experience more of that. Um, oh no. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is that? Yo, that's scary. <laughs> oh my god. Well, don't, don't walk towards it. Do you think it's your friend? We just grab no Rupert, Rupert. 
the f what is happening? Guys, I am omega confused. Hello, greetings. Do I at least get my health back? Moon presence? Okay, maybe some bolt action? I fucking hate tentacles on shit. Let's go ahead and smack its ass a little bit, huh? That's actually... Maybe this'll be decent? Dude, this thing is absolutely omega fucking cursed. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, what was that fucking eye it just did? That was... It, dude, it almost fucking hit me with the, the, the beam. What the hell is going on? No, that. Oh no, it's raining blood. Is that is this the Slayer song? Uh, I've been pounced on. No, I agree. I agree. All right, very interesting fight that was. I might want to go get my blood echoes, to be honest. I probably should have also repaired my weapon as it was at risk. So where did I actually die? You're not gonna lie, guys. It's kind of fucking hard to find shit, dude. I can't even. I, I can't. E I can't even find my blood echoes, dude. All right. Well, it doesn't matter to be honest. I. It, it does it not kill you. Does it only like slightly like one shot you? It's like it like puts you at one hit. Um, why is it so windy now, guys? Oh, it's the blood raining again. No, no, oh god, it, it, so it literally like almost one shots you. Wait, did it just spawn that? The fuck was that? The fuck is this, dude? I'm so confused. What is that? <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, it used its fucking eyeball attack on me again, dude, and I didn't, almost didn't even notice. Okay, this is, this is blasting me, to be honest, now it towards here. No way. At least you can, like, get your health back from it. Oh! Give me that, you son of a bitch! Moon presents my head, dude! Why don't you go back to the moon, you stupid bitch? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Huh. See you later, nerd. Bow to you. What's good? Am I the winner now? I've won. <laughs> I've won the game. What is happening? Oh, is it the doll? Oh, the house isn't on fire anymore. Cool. Didn't really have insurance for that. I swear I've seen something like this on the internet, and it, it did not end well. Is that me? Wait, she said, good hunter. Am I... Did I just get turned into a fucking tentacle? Miyazaki. Clean game, dude. Holy shit. Nice work. All right. And we've been placed in... Isofka's clinic again in New Game Plus, I assume. That's the end of the game. Um, very, very interesting to, to say the least. I don't understand. I don't think I understood a single thing that happened at all. Like, I, I, I don't know if I understood the story much. I know I probably missed out on some storylines and stuff and uh, doing specific things, but obviously first playthrough, what are you going to do? Um, as far as the game goes, um, where would I, I don't think at least for me, that I could put this game above DS3 and DS1, just for me. Uh, maybe if I played it more and tried it out with different stuff, maybe I would, uh, you know, grow more of a love for it. But it's just like those games I've played, you know, multiple, multiple, multiple times. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this one. Uh, the best thing about it was the DLC, 1 million percent. If I had to rate my favorite bosses in the game, it would be literally the three, three of them from... The DLC. My first was definitely was definitely Lady Maria. The second one was definitely Ludwig, and then the third one was probably the Orphan of Koss, which was a really fun fight as well. And then probably after that, I'd be like uh, Lugarius was a really really fun fight. And honestly, if I try to think of any of the other ones that really stick out to me, uh, that was one of my slight issues with the game. Is I felt like a lot of the bosses are just some like weird monster alien hybrid thing, and they just run around, they smack you with their feet or appendages, whatever they have, and then. Yeah, you go ahead and call it right there. So I kind of wish there was a little bit more of a variety in, in terms of the bosses and stuff. I know I really like the setting uh, that Bloodborne takes in. It's like this like very, very gothic, like dark and kind of spoopy areas, uh, which I like quite a bit. Um, but in, in terms, I think it's just also slightly held down by the fact that it's on PS4. It's a console game. You know, it came out 
uh, a year before DS3, I believe. But, you know, you just obviously can tell some of the limitations of being on console. You know, the motion blur is kind of disgusting. And uh, some of the frame drops and stuff that just, like, can't get ha- help by the uh, system and everything is a little bit of a is a bit of a strange one. But uh, I fear I thoroughly did enjoy this game quite a bit. I would definitely play through it again. Um, it's just I wish it was to the extent to where we had it something like it on PC. To where we could have mods and everything like that because that's what i've actually really been enjoying with like dark souls is like trying out new mods and stuff and adding different things in there which would have been really really cool to have in, in something like this and you know if we ever got like a pc port of it or if they ever brought it out on pc i'm sure that that would happen as well for this game but uh you know i i liked it it was it i thought it was like shorter than what I was expecting, but I mean, I guess I did do about 16 episodes of this, so, um, I, I probably have, like, probably 20 to 30 hours on, on this one right here, I think, I think I have somewhere like 23 or 24 hours on this account, so, I mean, that, that's, you know, a little bit of AFK time in there as well, but, you know, that sounds about right, I think it took me, like, 30 or something to do DS1 or something, so, that was, that was pretty interesting, I would give this game probably a a solid, a solid 8.5 out of 10, uh, just, uh, just due to with like some of the limitations on the console and stuff, it was really really fun. Let me know what, what your guys' like favorite part of this game is and uh, why you love it so much, or maybe what are your issues with the game. I I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, now we just have to look for a new series to kind of go onto the channel. Uh, my the thing that I wanted to do so badly, guys, was to get a, a PS5 to get Demon Souls, but you know those things are legitimately harder to get than Black Tar Heroin. I feel at this point, and and probably more expensive as well, dude. There's like. The scalpers and stuff, there's like 8,500 PS5s that are being sold on eBay right now, but yet people can't even buy them because all the bots and scalpers are just purchasing them, off them from online because there's not any in-source stale, uh, sales that are happening. So it sucks. I've really wanted to play Demon Souls. I, I will get it eventually and because I'm really, really excited for that game. That's like 99% of the reason why I want a PS5. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this Bloodborne series. I thought this episode was going to be a little bit longer, so I thought I would talk here at the end. I didn't expect to just absolutely ravage Garman in the moon presence. But uh, yeah, thank you, everyone. I appreciate you so, so much. I, the variety on the channel is obviously something that I, that I enjoy doing quite a bit, and I'm glad that you guys like it as well. So I will talk to you in the next series or something to be determined. I appreciate you all. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.